What's up, nerds? This video, we're going to be talking about how to iterate through a list. Now, we're going to be talking about how to do this with a for loop. In the upcoming videos, we're going to talk about the for each loop, which I think you guys will like. But first, we're going to do it with the for loop. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. It's actually really simple. The first thing you need to know is that you can say grades, in this case, because that's what we named our list, count. And this is going to give us uh, the number of elements contained in the list. So various data structures and various programming languages use different words, whether it's length, size, count, how many items are in this list, etc. So we're going to go with count because that's what we need here. And we can use that inside of our for loop. So it'll look something like this. Int i is equal to zero. i less than grades dot count. i plus plus. Now we just access the element by index. So we say grades index i. This loop will start at the very beginning, i equals zero, and go all the way up and stop once i is equal to grades.count because i less than grades.count will no longer evaluate to true. So I did do videos on for loops if you need a little bit more background. All right, so what are we gonna do with this? All we gotta do is console.writeLine it or do whatever we want with it. And there we go. Done it run. And we get the output starting at 5, 10, 26, and it just goes through the entire list down to the bottom. So this is how you can output everything, but there's also an opportunity to go and work with all of these elements. For example, we can multiply them by two by simply just saying grades index i multiplies equal to. Running that, and you can see we get a whole new output with twice the values. Well, <laughs> same number of values, but twice the numbers. So yeah, you guys know what I mean. So that's just a very simple example of how to iterate through this. You can do all kinds of variations if you need to count backwards and so forth or skip every other one. I'm sure you guys can figure that out if you need a little bit more of a challenge. Why don't you try to do those two things? Skip every other one and count backwards. Thank you everybody. Check out the next video because we're going to be talking about the for each, which is a huge improvement when we're working with lists. See you then.